What's up, YouTube? I'm about to get ready to go hit some legs. First time back in the gym in a while, so I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna get ready to go train. But right now, I'm about to finish me some breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna have me uh, four whole eggs. You see, got a little lorry season in there. I'm gonna take my vitamins, which is a multivitamin, two fish oil, two allergenies, and one biotin. And I'm gonna sip this coffee, man. And as you see, I got my waffle maker on. So I'm gonna make me a couple waffles this morning before I go in the gym and kill it. Casper the friendly ghost right here. <laughs> I ain't getting ready to roll out, but I'm about to put my intra pump BCAs in my water bottle. And then I'm about to go kill legs, man. See y'all at the gym. Do you think I'll ever need you love more than you need me? Show me your true colors, girl. I just wanna see. Cause I didn't Just pulled up at the gym. Leg training about to happen. Sipping on this uh, pump and grind. So I'm going here and uh, today's um, probably consists of primarily squat movements. So I'm gonna do some leg presses. Uh, probably, but mostly squats and leg extensions, man. So y'all yeah, stay tuned. See what's coming next. Out. I started off my leg really well. I used to do some squats and I wound up for this with some body weight squats and some. Um, uh, like other warm up techniques like leg kicks and front kicks and side kicks. So I did a one set of 135, I think it was like 7 or 8 reps, just to fill the weight before I went into my working set that you see here. So 225, and I did sets of 5. So I did working sets of 5, 3 sets of this. Um, for some reason, man, 225 seems really heavy, heavy today. I usually can kind of just up and down with 225, but. I'll test that more to my absence from the gym because I've been training like at my job, so I haven't really been in the gym in like a week, so that's what I'll test this uh, loss of slight strength to or uncomfortability is what I'll call it, but neither here nor there. After that, I moved on to the job of squats where I did um, close for five reps and then I went wide for five reps. Um, most of the video, you'll see me, I cut my head off on the video, but in the down position, you can see it's me in a position where you can't see. So again, I went close for five reps, wide for five reps, total of 10 reps, and I did three sets of that. Immediately following that, I tried something new called the uh, corner squat, where you get in the, uh, where you get the corner bar, where you usually do like T-bar rolls, um, or V-bar rolls, whichever you prefer, but this is gonna take me some getting used to. It was kind of weird at first, but I kind of got into it, as you can see, there's only a, a 10 pound plate on there because I don't want to load up a bunch of plates and then throw my back out or snap my shit up or something. So, like I say, it feels good once you get to the bottom or once you get to the top, but the transition for me is going to take me getting used to. So, I want to see how I felt with a little more weight on there. So, I put three, um, three plates on it. I personally think I might need to get up under the bar a little bit more, as you can see, I'm kind of standing out from the bar, and that might be the reason for it feeling weird for me. Uh, and I think it's an exercise that I could definitely grow to like, but I just have to get my form down. I know there's a general form, but anybody in fitness will tell you that your form kind of differs from the general form of the exercise. So once I find my general form, I'll throw some more weight on it and keep it updated. Next, I did some weighted jump squats. I put them in 25 pounds, 35 pounds, to 45 pounds. So I did five each on each weight. Uh, for a total of 15, that was one set, and I did three sets of that. I was kind of winded though, because you know, it jumped up and down, it's kind of like a, um, a cardio for me, so. But it felt good, um, felt good. I used to, couldn't even do squatting movements, because as y'all know, I never really uh, trained my legs and legs, it's a weak point for me, so I'm kind of proud to see that I could do uh, weighted jump squats, especially with a 45 pound plate, because it may not seem like much when you're bench pressing or when you got it on the bar, but when you're jumping up and putting that pressure on your lower extremity, including your lower back, and you're able to control yourself and not fall all over the place, that's a good sign for me. Uh, immediately following that, I did, I guess you could call it sort of a tricep where I did leg extensions, or a tricep, not a tricep, where I did leg extensions. I did uh, one leg and leg extensions for both legs, followed by close, uh, close feet leg extensions where 
10 reps. So a total of 10, 30 reps to be set, and I did three sets of this. But as you see, I only had to wait on like 30 pounds. And anybody who's been in fitness a while or had injuries will tell you that you don't want to pile up a lot of weight on the leg extension machine because that's a lot of stress on your knees, regardless of how you adjust the pad. There's still a lot of stress on your knees. But neither here nor there, you're grown, you do whatever the fuck you want to do. Um, as you can see, I doubled the weight. I think I was a little bit more than double, but the, the goal is to do both legs individually at a weight and then at least double the weight or for the uh, close feet leg extension, do 10 reps of each, total of 30 reps. I moved from there straight into some leg extensions here, um, right in the middle of the sled and uh, we were doing six to 10 reps, I think it was six to 10 reps, so right in the middle of the sled. I did, uh, I think eight reps, and then I moved on to the top, as you can see my um, my squat shoes over the top of the sled, and I did seven or eight reps here, and I did three sets of this super set as well. Immediately following out, I was done with quads. It was a quad dominant workout. So once I finished quads, this is the only hamstring exercise I did. I'm gonna start to incorporate more hamstrings because I think that's one of my uh, absolute weak points. Because depending on like, if you're looking at my legs from the front, they look okay, but from the side, they still look small. So I want to get that three-dimensional leg look. That's what I'm working for right now. Um, so I did 12 reps of hamstring extensions. I mean, hamstring curls. Immediately followed by some hip thrusters or glute bridges or whatever you want to call them. So that was another superset that I did, and I did three sets of this. Real men should not be afraid to work with glutes. Glutes are a muscle just like any other muscle. And you will know that when you step on stage to compete. Um, that, this superset ended my workout. Like I said, the three sets, uh, 10 to 12 of each of the hamstring curls and the hip thrusters. And that was all I did for the day. Again, thank y'all for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video.